I'm going on a short trip to Tennessee to test out the new setup. The purpose of this trip is to go pick up some roof rack parts. I'll be picking up a roof rack basket from Tennessee. I'll be getting another boat loader extender thing near Asheville. And then I'll also be getting a roof rack awning in Hendersonville. It'll be good for me to live a few days out of the back of this while we still have it partially set up. That way, if any changes need to happen, I can let Chris know and we can make those adjustments next time I see it. Three hours later, I was at Grant's house to install the parts. We've got some parts that I picked up to put on this roof rack. This is an awning and I got another boat loader extender to fill this gap here. Installing the extender is extremely easy. You literally just slide it in and tighten it down. So there we go. Two extenders. That's stuff that I can eventually hang gear from as it's drying. Or if I need to carry more than one boat, I can probably extend it out and carry that one boat. Also, totally unrelated, but Grant has goats and I think that's super cool. <laughs> The next part to install is the awning, and this one is a little bit more complicated. Luckily, Kate and Grant let me borrow their tools and were able to help me put this thing on. That's really cool. That's a really big awning too. There we go. I do need to tighten it. There's bolts on the back here to do so. There's a lock on these to prevent people from stealing them. Can't see this. Where is it? There it is. Come on. Come on. Awnings installed. Paddle holders here. All this will probably have to come off when the basket goes on. That sucks, but I'll take care of that when that happens. So now that the awning and the boat loader are taken care of, the next stop is Tennessee for the roof rack basket. We're leaving Grant's house now, headed to Tennessee to go see Brian for the roof rack basket. The drive to Tennessee through the mountains was so beautiful. And looking back, I should have gotten out and enjoyed the view. We're about to cross the border in Tennessee, and I need to find a gas station, because we're on E. One big thing I thought was really important is the ability to get up and move around the vehicle without getting out of it. The spare tire makes it a little harder, but normally it's pretty easy to go back and forth. Hydrate, and then some cornbread muffins from Grant. After gassing up, I needed to find a place where I could stay for the night. Here we are at Walmart. This one is in Kingsport. This is gonna be home for the night. Just got some work done at this Walmart and stayed here the whole time. I haven't eaten dinner yet. It is now nine o'clock and I'm really hungry. I have still no cooking situation, but an MRE that I acquired, acquired from my time in the military. So I'm gonna eat that, I'm gonna get some rest. I'll see you all in the morning. morning <laughs> it's about 6 45 right now as you can see it rained quite a bit last night so far my impressions with the furniture i mean i don't have really any complaints i do wish i had a little bit more distance from here to the back i can't fully stretch out the bed itself is a little hard the padding isn't quite enough just because it's such a hard surface. I didn't fall off, that's good. That was one of the worries because it's so narrow. I think this whole thing only measures about 21 inches across. The other thing is that this second cubby is just always in the way. Do I have a small enough amount of stuff that I don't have to use the second cubby? And there's no way to know that until I actually move in. Because of the rain, Things are really humid, and I was really sweaty. I'm gonna find a Planet Fitness or something so I can shower. The easier way would probably be wait until I get to Brian's house and shower there. Ugh. It is really nice that I can literally just go back and forth in here. Like this whole morning, I didn't have to leave the vehicle once. Neither did I last night. I do have to pee really bad because of it. But the fact that I can go back and forth without having to get out, it's, I feel so much safer and stealthier doing so. I've got to Brian's house. 
Here's my roof rack right now. There still needs to be a box that goes on, but that box is the only thing I'm missing. And this is the basket that we might be putting on. The first thing that had to happen was the paddle holder had to come off so I could fit the basket on. And I knew it would be a tight fit. Oh dude, that almost fits. Almost. If I move these over like two inches, okay. and I move this one over like two inches, that's right. And I'm with saying. a little bit of teamwork, me and Brian were able to get that roof rack basket exactly where I wanted it. Basket actually fits very well. And it looks awesome. I do have to give up the sky box, I think, or the, the rocket box. I just don't see a way to mount both of them. But I think that's fine, because I can probably fit everything I need to in the basket without it. And the added benefit is I can still have sunroof access. So I think I mount the paddle on this side. The problem is that with these, this is designed for a Yakima bar, not one of these Tiger bars. Right now, it just slides. We'll wrap tape around to thicken it, and that's where this can go. And because this basket is open, I know in the future that I'll need to find a way to store and secure my gear on the roof. I need to buy some plastic bins to put all my stuff in. Probably two boxes, one for whitewater gear, one for other outdoor gear. Maybe a fuel pack as well or something because I'm known for running out of gas. I think that's the way to do it. We'll find out if changes need to happen, but I'm, I'm super happy with this. I ended up staying at Brian's house for a little bit and him and his wife treated me to dinner, so thank you for that. Hey, just finished up at Brian's house. We got the roof rack installed. Huge thanks to him and his wife, Brenda, and really all of AVA Journeys. I'll have a link to their channel in the description and on the screen. They're huge supporters of the channel and I cannot thank them enough. I totally forgot to get a clip of me driving, so just use your imagination. I'm on the way home now from this trip. I'm getting a little tired. It is 12.25 now, like midnight, 12.25. I think I'm gonna catch some rest here. I'm at a Sheets in High Point right now. I'll sleep here for the night and then resume going home after that. Morning guys. <laughs> the thing about stealth camping in urban environments is sometimes you just wake up to weed whacking and lawn mowing. I'm about an hour-ish away from home, so Probably get home around 8.30, 9-ish, and then um, from there, unpack. I need a shower, I have not showered and since I left, so. As I got ready that morning to come back home, I felt really, really good about this trip. The roof rack was finally starting to come together and all the furniture was doing really great. There were some minor tweaks that needed to happen, but I couldn't wait to get back with Chris and finish out this build. And now we're home. Been a great trip. Thanks for coming along with me. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time. So I don't know if you all know this, but on Google Maps, you can change your arrow to a car. So of course, we're gonna choose the yellow and orange SUV.